Hello guys, this is another video where I will explain how to fix Windows Defender when it is disabled and not enabling anymore. Although my Windows Defender is running, the virus and threat protection section is not activating. As you can see, it shows your virus and threat protection is managed by your organization. So now we need to activate the core engine of Windows Defender to fully enable it. This solution is a bit tricky, so make sure to watch the complete video before making any changes. In this video, patience is highly required. Remove the altered policy. To remove the virus and threat protection is managed by your organization, run some command codes. We have already mentioned this code in the video description box and also on my Google Blogsport website. You can also get the code from there. Now type cmd to open the command prompt as an administrator. And paste the entire code there. It will automatically fix the altered policy. Once done, restart your PC. After restarting, please keep in mind, do not open the Windows Defender at any cost. Make Windows Defender Enable Tool Now we have to make the REST tool that will enable the Windows Defender software. So go to my Google Blogspot website and copy the entire code from there. Next, open Notepad and give the file a random name as malware can block specific file names if they are recognized. Open the text file, paste the code inside and save it with the reg extension. Now run the reg file by doing the following. Select the reg file, right click and choose merge. Although it might show a need privilege message, most of the registry entries have already been added to the registry editor. To confirm this, open Windows Defender again and you will see it showing something different with the restart now button. However, it is still not fully activated, so we need to take ownership in the registry editor to make it work. Now restart your PC again and this is the mandatory step. Take ownership in the registry editor. Now we have rebooted our PC again and we have to change the ownership of specific registry folders, which is window defender and features folder. But before proceeding, we should take the backup of these folders. To do this, search for regedit.exe and open it. Navigate to HK Local Machine, Software, Microsoft and select Windows Defender. Now take the backup and save it to your desired location. Now under the Windows Defender folder, find Features folder, right click on it and select Permissions. In the advanced settings, change the owner from system to your username. My Windows username is 123, so I'll type 123 and click on the Check Names button. It will automatically select your username. And don't forget to check the box for replace owner on subcontainers and objects. Now go to add, click on select a principal, type your username again, 
click on check names and click OK. Click on show advanced permissions, select full control and it will select all the permission. Click OK. Now press the apply button, then OK and OK. That's it. Now we have granted the permission to our user profile and you'll need to do the same process for the Windows Defender registry folder to complete the task. Let's see it again in the fast forward. Now restart your PC again. Well, we have rebooted our PC again. Now we need to run the reg file again. And this time it will add all the entries without any error message. But if you are still receiving the registry error message, follow the previous step again. After that, restart your PC. Once the PC has started again, do not open Windows Defender or any other application for at least 30 seconds. Now system is booted again, open the Windows Defender again and you will see it is asking you to turn on protection. That's we need. Go ahead and turn all the protection shields. and your Windows Defender will be fully activated again. That's it. Although this step is optional, it is highly recommended to update Windows Defender after enabling it. You can do this through the command prompt. So open command prompt as an administrator, and type the command to check for updates. If your Windows Defender is outdated, it will automatically update your Windows Defender. If no update is available, it will let you know. Once completed, simply type exit to close the command prompt. Now your PC security is fully up to date. Hope so you like this tutorial. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Stay safe.